The W-88 thermonuclear warhead is a compact and high-yield nuclear weapon that was developed by the United States during the Cold War. It was designed to be deployed on Trident 2D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which are carried on Ohio-class nuclear-powered submarines. The W-88 warhead has a yield of approximately 475 kilotons, which is approximately 30 times the yield of the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. It is a two-stage design, which means that it uses a small nuclear fission explosion to initiate a much larger fusion reaction. The warhead is approximately 18.5 inches in diameter, 49.1 inches long, and weighs about 800 pounds. The warhead is designed to be highly accurate, with a circular error probable of less than 300 meters this means that it can hit a target with a high degree of precision, even when launched from a submarine that is moving at high speed and depth. The W-88 warhead is considered to be one of the most advanced and sophisticated nuclear weapons in the U.S. arsenal. It is designed to be highly reliable and safe, with a sophisticated set of arming, firing, and safety mechanisms that ensure that the warhead can only be detonated under very specific conditions. Overall, the W-88 thermonuclear warhead represents a significant advance in nuclear weapons technology, and it remains a critical component of the U.S. strategic nuclear deterrent. The W-88 is a thermonuclear warhead that was developed by the United States as part of its nuclear arsenal during the Cold War era. The warhead was designed to be deployed on submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which would provide a strategic deterrent against potential adversaries. However, as nuclear disarmament efforts have gained momentum in recent years, there has been increasing interest in the dismantling and decommissioning of nuclear weapons. The W-88 warhead is no exception, and there have been efforts to study its composition and take it apart in a safe and controlled manner. A detailed look at the composition of a W-88 thermonuclear warhead would involve examining its various components and the processes involved in its operation. The warhead is comprised of multiple stages, including a primary stage and a secondary stage. The primary stage contains a fissile material, typically plutonium, that is used to initiate the nuclear chain reaction. The secondary stage, which is surrounded by a radiation case, contains a mixture of thermonuclear fuel, such as deuterium and tritium, and a pusher material, such as beryllium, which is used to compress the fuel and initiate the fusion reaction. The warhead also contains a number of safety features, such as arming and fusing mechanisms that are designed to prevent accidental detonation, as well as mechanisms that are used to prevent unauthorized access to the weapon. Dismantling a W-88 thermonuclear warhead would involve carefully removing each of these components and disposing of them safely and securely. This would require specialized equipment and expertise to ensure that the process is carried out safely and effectively. Overall, a detailed look at the composition of a W-88 thermonuclear warhead provides insight into the complex and intricate nature of nuclear weapons and the challenges involved in dismantling them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel Top News Info.